Look at this. Johan Erb has a reminder on his phone to do 50 burpees. He does 50, he does 50 burpees a day. I know. That's insane. But you, you've got... Oh, it's gone now. Look at that. There it is. 50 All burpees. Oh, the dentures lame. Oh, the dentures not lame. He's a hero. All right. Since you're both in the new to first thing in the morning. Why hey did you guys. tell us why you wanted to join the show? Why Pandora? What was the appeal? Oliver Dench. I mean, why else would anybody want to do anything? I think he's one of the most talented actors, and for me to know that he was on the show, and he's very good looking. I actually get that. Yeah, people, yeah. people follow me around. And, yeah. and Johan has been following me for years. I have. So obviously when the job was offered to him, yeah. why would you pass that kind of Yeah, thing? and they, you know, in Europe, they don't care about the police stuff, whatever that, you know, you put out against me. It's true. They don't care. Yeah, since we're working together, mm. it's totally fine. It's somehow legal for him to camp outside my house. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird, and it's not even my. I, I, live, I, I say we live together. It's not like it's not weird. It's not really we live together. You are just around the like, my house. I am, especially when you're sleeping. Which is the worst. <laughs> which is the most. Which is which is just, which is so pretty. When you're sleeping. <laughs> yeah. This is going up. Hi. Yeah. yeah. I just joined up with the laser guns personally. We both get a few good laser guns. Yeah. Just, I, I, I carry my laser. <laughs> They're not lazy though. They do That's what brings me to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I am seriously though to answer your question, this has been a long time, but I love sci-fi. And uh, for me, this is the first time during my career that I've actually gotten to be a captain of a sailor. <laughs> Which has been a dream of mine. Um, and um, yeah, I, I, I've always read a lot of sci fi and I, I still do. And so it was just a really wonderful character for me to play as well. The guy is crazy and addicted and a spaceship captain. What is not to like? like? What is not to like? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fly some ships. Mm -hmm. Do you do any flying? Really, I just tell people to fly because I'm in charge. This is a real commander. That's a mad drug adult mm -hmm. captain. <laughs> so obviously you guys have zero chemistry with the yes. Yeah. Um, we, we were talking a bit before about different goofy things you guys uh, happened while you're in Sophia. And I'm just wondering what is your favorite memory on set so far um, with the cast members? I mean, obviously meeting Oliver, but uh, uh, <laughs> seeing his face when he saw me there. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah. And he'd be like, shh. Uh, <laughs> it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, honestly, for me, what, what was so fun is, is working with these guys and I'm feeling such a sense of community. And it's so fun to be on set. Everyone's excited to be there. This, this show's good for that, isn't it? Do you remember? Yeah. Was it? One of our lovely ADs, Sophie, has a friend that runs like a Rakia bar in Bulgaria. And Rakia is like, have you ever had it? It's not really an international thing, is it? It's this Bulgarian spirit. I think it's normally like great skin. It's a bit like brat. But they have apricot Rakia and all those fat chat bags. That's probably wrong. But they have all the sorts of different sides. And some of it is, is poisonous. Absolutely poisonous. And we had a night where we were in that little bar. A lock, a lock in, it was just us there, trying all these different types of rakia and enjoying some and hating some and running out to climb some trees. <laughs> what a great evening! <laughs> what could you want? Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun time. We should bring some back. Mm. Well, your characters seem to have a real close relationship working together, so maybe you could describe kind of how that works. Our characters together. Our characters actually uh, don't share too many scenes. Mm. We're just best friends. <laughs> yeah. See that chemistry across the scenes, then we're doing something right. Like, oh, you know, spend a lot more time with uh, Yeah, yeah. We just like each other. We just I wish we had more scenes together. Yeah. Soon. 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 
I wouldn't spoil anything. If you could play another character on the show, who would it be? And you can't say each other. <laughs> that would be too easy. That would be too easy. Um, I'm into Raylan. Raylan's cool, played by Ben Radcliffe. He um, uh, has some really cool stuff to do. He's, he's quite a ninja lad, which is quite exciting. I'd like the opportunity to do that sort of stuff. But he also has to sit through that makeup and an arm mm. every morning. It's in, have you seen the show? Yeah. The first time he's got this yeah, incredible like, eye ridges and, and, and hairline stuff, um, which looks great. But the, the stuff he deals with taking it off, they, they used to. In the first couple of weeks, they used to just cover his face in shaving foam. Scrub him with a wire brush. <laughs> she said, for two hours. Wow. Which is amazing. And then they thought that wasn't going to work, so they started spraying him with alcohol, which kind of dried out his face completely. Yeah, it's, it's not fun having yeah. stuff glued to your face every day. And he's got those contact lenses that rim everything he sees in like, dark shadows. Yeah. Sounds like cool. I I really like um, the idea of being. Interfaced with like the crazy internet of the future, you know, and having access to everything and being able to sort of imagine what that feels like and go into that world of, of really, yeah, yeah, being connected to everything at once. I think we're kind of headed there anyway. We're kind of there anyway. We're always like, I don't think, I don't think about that though. I feel like there'd be some another like human divide. Like the, the like the like the Amish and the, and the Luddites and like that kind of thing. At a certain point, a group of humans decided to relinquish technology, so we've gone too far. And let's get up. And I think we'll see that again. At a certain point, there'll be these implants like the last, which is an exciting thing because the show deals with that kind of stuff in that question, which is great. But would you take it if you had a chip that would? You know, attach you to the internet at all times and you could know everything, or an eye that could see through things, or an arm that was ten times stronger than normal arm. Would you cut off your arm and get a new arm? Maybe. Interesting. See, I wouldn't. But then that eventually means that we're going to develop into one half of humanity who has these implants that is like superhuman, and then me like scrabbling in the mud to turn it, and you're going to hunt me. Well, this I is what's happening. You know, you're going to hunt me down. I think. I, it's, I think it's called posthuman. I, I think it's like it's happened, you know. Yeah. Whether we want to acknowledge it or not, it's, it's happening. We're so attached to all these devices, and soon it'll just be so much easier not to have to carry this thing. And it'll just when, when everyone else is doing it, you won't feel weird about. It. Agree, but that but they did at some point the Amish were like that. The men in the the lead up. So at some point they were like that. So there will be, assumably, another sex that doesn't. Will and it's probably will you be with me in the mud, or will you be with the cyborgs? It'll probably be good that there is, because who knows what's going to happen when she merges with this thing. We don't know. The singularity. As an actor, are you guys worried about your privacy with social media? With you know, you could be you know. Getting yourself a sandwich. It's a very invasive question to ask. That's <laughs> why I'm asking you that question so that people don't. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. I think like there's there's a certain amount of your life that you would want to keep private. But I also understand that people want to know stuff. Like, if they like the show, then they want to know stuff. I don't know. It's not easy to draw where you want that line to be. I don't know if privacy really exists anymore. You know, I, the more I relinquish the idea of what privacy used to be to kind of what it is now, the easier I feel about it. And then I don't stress out about it. For me, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty clear about creating boundaries with, with people. And I think it's, if we don't assume, because I don't need to. Um, <laughs> But if, if we assume that privacy means a certain thing instead of it just being a fluid thing, for me, when it's fluid, it's just a lot easier to do. Like anything else. Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. That's my phone. Yeah, that's my phone.